one of the things that's been happening is um, that the little boys and specifically one and it's Ash the little boy that had the skin peeled off his head and he was inside for a few days I was keeping an eye on and making sure that no flies got to his while he was healing and then I realized that he was being a bully I think what he is is scared like since he was little he's always scared he's the biggest one he's the strongest one however he's the one that is the most scared and because of that he's not really letting me handle him he's not letting anybody handle him and when it's time to go inside while he was with his mom inside he was not going in with everyone else and made me chase him around the pen just to put him inside with his brothers inside the kennel so they wouldn't nurse and not be able to uh, milk but with that behavior that he was presenting yesterday I thought the only way that I can tame this little boy is if I'm able to put him in a position where he's not the alpha nobody wants a skittish goat nobody is looking forward to go pick up their pets and have to chase them around a pen nobody wants that so I cannot in good faith sell him that he's sold um, you know to somebody who's gonna have to have a big struggle so I still have a couple of weeks to um, handle him and hopefully, you know, in a couple of weeks, I will be able to have him more human friendly. Dom, you're such a good friend. You're such a good friend, love. Yeah. You're a good friend. Okay, hey guys, I need the room. Hi, baby. Hi. It's okay. You got yourself in a corner, sir. You got yourself in a corner. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, Grandmama. Who loves babies? He's at least trying, but he's not sucking. Come on. Good boy. Okay. Isn't that a good thing though? Isn't that a good thing? Like milk? Isn't it great? Okay, Humpty. I know. You'd rather be with your mama and your brothers, but you're a danger to society. You're a danger to society. I know, you don't think you are because you're cute and everything. And I think it'd be perfect if you could go as a buckling. I think so. And I think by the end of these two weeks, you're gonna love me. I know, but not right now. You don't have to love me right now. It's okay, it's okay if you don't love me right now. I know, I love you. I know I'm not your mom. You miss your mom. I know. I get it. But you need to change your ways. Yes, because unless you turn into a sweet little boy, your life is not going to be amazing. I know. And I want your life to be amazing. So I need you to try really hard. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's scary. It's scary, and I get it. I get it. But just so you know, I'm not gonna hurt you. Nothing's gonna happen. And I'll take care of you, okay? You just have to listen to me when I say something. I, I think you're a pretty cute boy, honestly. And I think you're smart. And I think you would be a perfect sire for somebody out there. Yes. But if you don't, if you don't get to have ladies, you'll have a good life as a pet somewhere. Yeah, you would. 
And I'm not your enemy. I love little boys. I know. You don't think so, but you'll get it. Soon enough, you'll get it, okay? I'll bring you bottles. I'll give you kisses. You can take naps with me if you want. Oh, I know. Remember that you were hurt and I took care of you? Remember you weren't on my bed? And we had a bottle morning? You should look at all this. You should look at all of them. Be nosy. Look. Taz, Dom, Rocky, and Duke. They all listen to our heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Which I think we'll have many, okay? Until you get it that I love you. I know. He's wasting all this milk. When you could have it, okay? Let's try once again, okay? I promise this is good for you. And it will keep your belly full. And then once your belly is full, you won't be crying so much. Because you kind of miss having a full belly. I know. I'll give you a bottle too, baby. I'll give you a bottle. Okay? You don't have to cry. <laughs> All the boys are like, oh, food? More food for us? No, sir. Hi, Rox. Your child, he is a problem. Here. I'm telling you, he's such a brat. <laughs> yes, you. That's fine. I promise you're gonna love it. Come on. In case you're wondering, I've tried all different kinds of... And once he bites it like that, he's getting the milk. He's just not sucking on it. Because it has a hole that sprays almost out. And every once in a while, he swallows. Eh? I've tried the pictured nipple things. None of my kids like those. Um... I tried the more rounded bottles, like the ones that come with my, or it came with my, what's it called, uh, breast pump that I use for the goats. Come on, you can do this. You're gonna love this milk. Love, 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 love. Now, is there a chance that he doesn't take the bottle? There's a chance. But I need to give it time. I am not a mean person. I am not a mean grandma. I am not. It's okay. Cookie, go away. Go away. It's okay. It's okay. Wanna go back? Your daddy waiting for you by the door. Oh, your daddy. Should I give you some? You want some? Like, lady, you don't know. You have no idea how much I want the bottle. I was hoping he'd see it. Oh, he's looking at it. Dom, nowhere is sad. But believe me, Dom was exactly the same as this little boy. Not such a bug. Look at that. He's like, can I have some of that? No, you may not have some of that. Oh, Dom. Oh, Dom. Oh. Now they're fighting over Duke. It's my girlfriend. No, it's my girlfriend. You see? Did you see Dom? Look, he's a smart boy. He had all your milk. Because I reheated it twice and I should have. Oh, oh, bless you, my sweet boy. 
Bless you. Bless you. Not my fingers, little man. Not my fingers, little man. Look at Rocky. It's like I don't get it. I don't, I don't get the fuss of a bottle. Oh, Dom, you're so cute, my love. So, so stinking cute. You could be cute, too. You know, Humpty Dumpty? It's gonna take you time, though. Yeah, it's gonna take you time. I'm gonna get you a cute color. What color do you want? Uh, you look like a green. Like, kind of grinchy. Sorry, had to say it. Do you miss your mom? Sure she misses you. She's been crying for you. What do you want? Your mom doesn't even remember you. Annabelle? Yeah, she doesn't remember you. I'm sure she'd love to make children to her son. She does not remember you. Hi. What are you doing?
Luckily, my boys are very, very sweet. Um, so I don't really have to worry too much about how rough they will be with the babies. And actually, I have a theory that Rocky knows the little boys. I don't know if he knows that they're just little and that, you know, they're not a threat. Or if he you know seen them through the fence or if he senses something but he really is not interested in them like he won't be a bully to little boys but he won't be their friends either so i'm okay with that i think it's a safe place for them and for ash not the greatest behavior very skittish he's he's really a bully to the rest of the kids in the pen and he's trying to dominate dominate everyone so it's time to put him in his place he's not the big boss around here and there are boys that are older than he is and that he should start to show some respect to others so hey in the afternoon I'm going to try to give him another bottle. <laughs> they were all sitting inside the house. Dom, you're not starving. Look at that belly. Look at that belly of yours. You are not starving, my man. No, you're not. Hi, Humpty Dumpty. Hi, Humpty Dumpty. So today is day four for a little guy that is behind me and things are a little, well, a lot better than what they were on Sunday night when I moved him. I realize that he is starting to like today, day four, more the bottle and he is slowly realizing that his uh, source of milk now as far as being with the boys they don't really care about him uh, Rocky is a little bit more I don't know he kind of sits with him and he, he's kind of a friend to him and Dom is too but with Taz he just they ignore each other there hasn't been any kind of fighting and I can assure you that he's not hungry. Now, as far as hay, I'm going to show you. But since this this is chain link, look at his face. He's kind of bad at me. I'm telling you, he has a temper. Uh, but the other side of the fence has those squares. So what I've been doing is putting the hay outside for him. He and Dom are the only ones that can get to that hay. And they're okay sharing. So that's why I've been putting the hay outside for them. So if they can't get to the actual feeder with the rest of the boys, then at least they have some food over there. I'm going to try to zoom in. That is his hay feeder, which is basically a bowl with hay. And so he's been eating the hay from there. Like his head fits right through those squares. And if he is hungry... And there's no way <laughs> he's so curled up. He's upset. He really doesn't like um, this process. But I know it's it's going to be good for him. He's starting to come around. So I, I have high hopes that this is something that is going to end up working. However, today is day four. And he's finally getting the idea that that hay feeder over there is for him. And that he doesn't have to go with the big boys and eat there. Now the time that he cries the most is when the other babies are in the fence and they're talking to him. He really wants to go with the little ones. but This is a process that I wouldn't be able to do if he was in there with his mom. Because mom has milk. And he felt a little bit more empowered when he was with his siblings and he was kind of out of control with his behavior so this is humbling him <laughs> despite the fact that he is not liking it yet he will get used to it eventually uh, it's gonna take him a good week to get used to it That's a, how long it took Dom 
Dom is growing so much. <laughs> Look at him. Yes, you are Dom. You're so pretty. You're my pretty boy. It's like, okay, mom. Let me eat. So my final update for the 10 day humbling of our little friend Ash is that it really worked. He's very, very mellow. I can catch him right now. He's not running away from me. He's not running around the pen like a crazy maniac. And he is starting to share the food with everyone else. It really taught him that he's not the strongest goat. He's not the toughest. He's not the the fastest and he's not the top macho man that he thought spending some time with the boys even though i was watching him closely as i was staying home during this process really taught him that there are bigger goats stronger goats leaders that really can beat him up if he is not falling into the line and it sounds bad because I really don't want them to learn that lesson that way but I think if anybody should teach them that lesson because remember these little goats are gonna go to their new farms so they're gonna be exposed to bigger goats they're gonna be exposed to other goats that are boys and bullies and maybe even aggressive so the best way that they could have learned this lesson is with their dad um, and I was joking with somebody the other day. I'm like, it's a, it's a joint effort. The moms feed them and take care of them, and the dad teaches them how to be a good boy. Because really, Rocky did a wonderful job teaching this little boy that he's not as tough as he thinks, he's not as smart as he thinks, and he's definitely not as fast as he thinks. So he really is looking at me right now waiting for me to put him to bed but I really don't have to chase him every night to put him to bed you will see I'll show you how I put him to bed right now there's Ash he's like what are you talking about me yes you that's Ash you see how humble he is no more fighting with brothers you can see those boys they still have the cap they're gonna start to lose it soon hi girl Looks so cute. Hi, Mash. Hi, Mash. Hi, Mash. You guys are so cute. I'm gonna bring waters, okay? Then everyone's going to bed. You have to go with your mama. She really doesn't care if you're not there. She cares about those two. Those two are her number one priority because they're jerks. So she loves jerky children. She's too sweet. She's just so sweet that she's like, ah, I don't care about her. That's the Okay, so as you can see, everyone is out. That is Ash. This one here is Ash. But it's time to go to bed. Okay, guys? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, children. Come on, come on. Come on, Ash. He's like, I'm here, what do I do now? I'm here, Grammy, what do I do now? You get a bath tomorrow. That's Gerald. That's that little boy. You can see they're all in. And this one is the one that likes to get out. Okay, good night, children. Go in, Ash. So say no more chasing little goats. They all get in, they all have water and food and hay. And this, tonight, they have their mom. Good night, girls. But my final report is 
taking him with the boys for 10 days. Um, he was already six weeks old. He didn't take the bottle, so that part didn't work out. He was drinking milk, but he wasn't taking enough milk. Um, and he was starting to eat more hay. He was starting to eat more pellets. So he was just fine. I was checking his weight and everything, and he was just fine. For a minute, he didn't gain any weight. That was for a couple of days, but then he started gaining that weight back. So he really... It was a good experience for him and it was a good thing that he learned it with his dad and now he's very respectful of other goats he really wants to share his food with everyone and he's not a bully or as aggressive as he was now it was a tough process meaning that i had to be on top of it 24 7 or you know during the day mostly making sure that he was fine and if I thought that he was being bullied or something I would have never left him there at night but Rocky would let him inside the house he was snuggling with his dad he was snuggling with his uncle mostly with the two bigger goats in the pen and he was a little bit bullied by Taz but still uh, Rocky is the king and so it, the, the bully would go as far as Rocky would let him and he didn't let him that much so it was hard to keep an eye on him and be okay with the idea that he was going to be you know a little um, intimidated by the other goats but other than that as I mentioned before I don't think there's a better teacher than Rocky. Rocky is a strong leader and he is not a bully himself, but he will put you in your place. Um, he will never be aggressive to the point of hurting any of the goats, but he will butthead you if you're not listening to him. And I'm saying you as if you were a goat, not people. He will never do that. But it really was an experience that served Ash well and now I'm confident that when he goes to his new farm he's not gonna be aggressive he's not gonna be a bully and he's not gonna have to be catch or you know caught to go anywhere because he knows who is who and he knows that he just needs to listen he just needs to follow the leader and that he's not that leader and it sounds cruel because you're like well they have different personality yeah they do but at the same time, he was going to move to another farm and he was going to find a stronger goat that could have bullied him, could have hurt him, just because he was such a, you know, he believed that he was the king of the hill when he wasn't really. So anyways, that is my final report on the humbling pen with Daddy Rock. This co-parenting worked very well in this case. I'm very happy to report that. I did a video with a new humbling pen that is right there and that is for younger kids that can be away from mom and so if you missed that I'll have it linked down below thank you so much for being here if you're new to the channel please remember to subscribe like this video and leave a comment down below so that way we can have a little chat in the comments I'll talk to you guys next time bye guys
I just wanna be with you.